mean, it's surreal. You know, you work 15, 16 years to get in the position to be um, at a pro day and get these guys coming out to watch you. So, I mean, it's just a blessing I get to do it with some guys that I went through five, six years here with. Um, and I mean, I felt like it went as good as I could. Put eight hard weeks into training um, and felt, I think me and, me, me and all the guys came out and we, I think we put on a pretty good show. So it was, it was, it was awesome and I was super happy with it. You know, I think my goal, um, obviously coming from a G5 program, um, there's a lot of questions with speed, there's height, there's strength, there's agility, there's all these different things um, that are initially tacked onto your name. So I think today, a big thing for me was just coming out and showing like I have speed, I can get in and out of cuts, I can you know, test well, um, I can test similar to other Power 5 guys, and um, I can run pro style routes and run the pro style tree and just stuff like that and show I'm capable of playing in the NFL. I think you're five, six years anywhere. Hopefully you have uh, some, some good friendships built. And um, I think, you know, Jaywalk and, and Cab and AJ and then all these different guys that come out, there's 20, 30 guys out here um, that were all cheering us on. And it wasn't just for me, it was for Sterling, Dom, Kimpler, Mike, said all the guys out here. So um, I think that just shows the culture that we have and, and definitely the culture that, that these guys are continuing to keep up. Um, so I'm a proud alumni and I'm excited to watch next year for sure. Two weeks ago, I found out that I was going to be able to have Brett throw to me. Um, and I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's much easier catching from somebody that you understand their timing, you understand their ball flight, you understand just kind of how they, how they work and, and, and their mental time clock. And so it was huge. I mean, I think just having that initial connection and coming out here and being able to throw routes. And we got a couple of days of practice in too. So um, it was awesome. And I mean, I, I think Brett throws one of the better balls around the country. So um, it was obviously he put it where it needed to be and made my job pretty easy. I just had to run the route. Do you have nerves coming into something like this? And, and how do you manage that? Yeah, I mean, I think I think if you don't have nerves, I mean, I think it means you don't care. Um, so for me, I mean, yeah, I had tons of nerves. You know, I was dreaming last night about, about, about this day. I was dreaming for these past eight weeks about this day, and it's finally here. And I think, you know, I took advantage of it, and I think I did the best that I could, and I'm happy with the day. And, but, yeah, I mean, I for sure had nerves. You know, this is something that you dream about getting the opportunity to do as, as a little kid, um, dedicating kind of your life to this game of football. So, um, I mean, it all came to fruition. I think I had a great day. I think everybody else had a great day. And I'm proud of all these guys. I'm proud of our team. I'm proud of the culture that we have here. And I'm, um, you know, definitely excited and uh, to see what the future holds for sure. You're seeing that guys value character um, in the players that they bring in. GMs value the character and um, the quality of the human that you're bringing into the locker room because you see one bad egg can spoil the rest. Um, so I think that's something that you know I'm, t I'm taking a lot of pride in is going around and making sure I'm putting my best foot forward with all these different scouts and um, you know just trying to be a good human because I think you know uh, sad reality of it is a lot of people aren't putting their best foot forward um, sometimes so I think it's uh, especially I mean Dom and Sterling and all these guys um, I'm, I'm surrounded by a good group of guys that you know keep me accountable so um, you know I'm, I'm for sure I think I think having good character and, and making sure you have a good head on your shoulders is a big thing um, and the feedback I got from the scouts is you know just that routes were good and everything else was, was was fine but a lot of that stuff they keep pretty close to their chest until until come draft time I don't think they want to give any secrets away so Um, so obviously we partnered with Women Helping Women, they're a women advocacy group. Um, so we did a bench press for, for reps uh, style fundraiser where we got people could come and sponsor an athlete, pledge a certain amount of money for um, however many reps that you put up. So uh, all that money was going towards um, providing self-care packages for survivors, um, for providing clothing for greater Cincinnati area hospitals, um, for women that come in and do the SANE exam. Um, and for me is, is just bringing um, the topic into an area that is seen as hyper-masculine. Um, it needs to be a door that, that we need to open and have conversations about um, because men and women uh, both are sexually assaulted um, all the time and it needs to be a conversation that we're having and people need to understand where the resources are um, if that happens or if they see somebody uh, going through a situation like that. It needs to be a conversation that we have um, and something that people understand where to go if they see it happening or if it's happening to themselves. <laughs>